Hello folks, this is Sung and Toad, and uh, today we have yet another five knife uh, challenge. Uh, again, uh, another one that I saw on um, uh, Pete's channel from Cedric and Ada Gear and Outdoors uh, channel. And uh, this challenge uh, is to show your five favorite skinny knives. What I can say is I don't really own any real skinny knives, you know. But um, uh, I do like smaller knives, and I guess what the purpose, uh, the definition of, of what a skinny knife is, is basically a pocket knife that you can carry in your pocket that can also share uh, in that same pocket with a cell phone. So obviously if your knife is really big and bulky, it's probably not going to sit in the, in, well in the same pocket with, uh, with a modern day uh, smartphone uh, because they're so huge these days um, unless uh, you know you have giant cargo pant pocket, uh, <laughs> pockets or, or what have you. So with that uh, being aside and with no further ado we'll get this going along. Let's see if I can do it in under five minutes. First knife is going to be my Benchmade Mini Griptilian. Uh, this knife is very very uh, thin very well contoured. This one's in 154 cm and it has the axis lock and uh, it's bright yellow <laughs> but it has the deep carry pocket clip and uh, and this guy here you know very very uh, thin profile to him. Uh, this can be in my in my front side pocket with my cell phone beside it and it's no trouble at all so that's number one. Number two and this is in no particular order Victor Ionix uh, Pioneer X and uh, I'm not going to go through everything on the list here but of course it's got your standard uh, pen blade and why it's called the Pioneer X uh, where is the where is it here is because it has the scissors and this guy is very very thin and uh, and small and uh, and of course with this little um, pocket clip thing on him you know, he can be down in my pocket, cell phone can be in there, no problem whatsoever. And honestly, you can't go wrong with a Vector Inex uh, multi-tool or Swiss Army knife in your pocket. Number three, and again, no particular order, Sen Ren Mu 7010. Now this guy, I've taken the pocket clip off, uh, but even without the pocket clip, this guy, no problem, can go down in my pocket, cell phone can go beside it, it's very, very thin very narrow profile and uh, and this guy here is in um, uh, 8 CR14 MOV blade steel alright next one moving along and again no particular order here Buck Vantage Pro so this guy is a flipper and uh, I don't own many flippers but this is one of the few flipper knives that I own uh, this one is uh, in the uh, S30V with the Paul Boss heat treatment. I don't know if the camera is going to cooperate. There we go. Look at that. S30V and Boss. My camera is actually working today. Again, deep carry pocket clip. Uh, the, uh, the G10 handle uh, scales. Very nice knife. You know, pass through design. I mean, this thing is just awesome. And of course, same very, very narrow design very thin no problem at all sharing a pocket with a uh, with a, a cell phone this will be the last one number five Spyderco Delica and this guy very very thin and uh, in VG10 obviously the blue FRN deep uh, actually it's not a deep carry pocket clip but it's it's a uh, um, what do they call it those the spoon paddle clip I, I believe is what they call that um, but uh, Anyway, a classic, classic knife. Can't go wrong with this one. Now, a lot of Spydercos are wider than this. This one's actually very relatively thin. And because I carry it like so in the pocket, and the blade goes into like where the seam of the pocket is, you know, the cell phone's riding on this side beside it. So it's not, you know, what I consider to be a thick knife. So that there is my five uh, knives that are... Um, thin or skinny knives uh, that I recommend for um, this challenge. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Singing Toad signing out.